Um, why do people shame other people about piss jugs? <laughs> Why do I'm, people shame other people about piss jugs? Yeah. Um, because it's disgusting? You're pissing in a jug? Well, this is what people who work for Amazon have to do. Yes. Okay. Amazon is known with the piss jugs. Okay. There's been a lot of Amazon news recently. Do you see they had to change their logo? Because they made a new logo and there's a little like the swoopy thing and then it had a little square above its mouth. Do you know who else had like a smile and a little square? Yeah. Not a great guy, Hitler. Uh, So the logo looked like Hitler, so they changed it. But even Hitler probably let the Nazis use bathrooms. So what's going on here? And that's the thing with Amazon is supposedly they're not letting their employees use bathrooms, which is why delivery truck drivers have to use piss jugs. Yeah, but this has been going around for a long time. Like that's been talked about for years, right? Like, so what? Why is that back in the news this week? Because there are documents that were released that say that Amazon know they know about like these employees having to use this and employees. Now they have to hit a certain quota of uh, piss trucks. No, not piss trucks, <laughs> but a certain quota of getting, of getting their, their deliveries. I want that out. two liter full. <laughs> <laughs> and if they don't get all these packages delivered on time, then of course, you know, they, they can get terminated for it. I did a little bit of deep diving into this. Okay. okay? Not into the documents. I don't care about the legal aspect. Did you know that there's an entire Reddit thread dedicated to Amazon delivery drivers where they just talk about the hardships of being Amazon delivery drivers? You go on there, they're publicly posting their piss jug photos. Like the whole thread is basically just look how many jugs I filled today. It's almost like they're in a competition to see who could be the most hydrated. And they don't seem upset by it. Like... I understand your employer shouldn't force you to piss in a jug, but if we're going back to your like, let's not shame piss jugs, they don't seem bothered. They seem like they're, they think it's quite funny. Because they probably grew up in a household like I did. That's what, what my dad made us do. Well, if you didn't know this, Lynch was born in 1847. Uh, so his house did not have running water. They churned their own butter. He took a horse, a drawn carriage. To get to school. Well, it was a Mazda MPV van, but pretty close, yes. The uh, his uh, the valedictorian of his class was Alexander Graham Bell, who invented the, the phone. That's true. But you uh, grew up in this house. So, okay, so my dad, we'd go on trips, right? Yeah. And there was no stopping on trips. Right. We would be in the van. We'd have our big thing of Gatorade. Right. And we'd be driving. And if you needed to go, dad would just turn to the back and be like, finish the Gatorade bottle. And go in the Gatorade bottle. The only time we stopped was to get gas. The car was more important than us. Do you think that that's kind of counterintuitive? Like, I mean, if you didn't drink the entire jug of Gatorade, maybe you wouldn't have to piss. Like, did he not see? Like, why do you need that much Gatorade? You're driving. What do you need electrolytes for? You're, you're sitting there. You need electrolytes to play I Spy. You're 10. <laughs> 